You know, when you are growing up, you have a lot, millions of successful careers. But life is that way that you can never tell. All the young people should know this, that you, you will see a lot of beautiful jobs you want to go into, but life is not like that. What are some of the few factors that could prevent someone from achieving his or her dream? I would go straight to the word, poverty. So if you are there, work hard, make money. When you don't have money, or your father, your mother, you don't have any support, trust me, you have a long wall to jump. You see, sometimes passion is very important. Uh, you need to know what you what you love and what you can do. Today, I'm not an accountant, neither am I a journalist. In life, one thing that you should know is that train yourself in so many areas. It's not only about certificate. If you see a billionaire who is 44 years, and you're thinking that that billionaire has a short cut to get there, then I'm sorry for you. You may end your life. You may find yourself in so many problems. If you go to the, the prison yard, this is why it is full. Those who are into bed, most of them have the lucky to make money. But in the next day, they are poor. Remember, money has wings. I want the bed flew out of your hand. What happens? It can't becomes a struggle to get it. Yes, you can't get the bed back again. That is money for you. And uh, hey, another beautiful day. Hey, well, hey, 24 hours TV. Yeah, from me, hey, Elam Newman. What's answer to me from me, hey, Elam The Voice? And I'm in the opening. Bra penny be. Eh, and I share when they are baby D and Como. You're watching 24 hours TV. My name is Elam Newman. We are going to have a great conversation today. And you are going to be blessed. Uh, should we go English or tree? We can go English, but on the normal way. Yes. Okay. All right. That's powerful. I'm not, fan of, I'm not a fan of big works. Oh, you're not a fan of big words. I get it. I get it. The, the whole thing is about reality. The whole thing is about reality. Reality. It's not about too much English. I see that. I see that. That's powerful. Great. What's your name, sir? Shidu Salia. Shidu Salia. Wow. Where, where do you come from? Um, uh, from north, but I was born in uh, uh, Kufuridua. Wow, Kufuridua and Asim. Yes, please. But I was too little to uh, when I was brought here into Tema. Um, at, at around the age of five, six, I think so. So you were very young when you were. Born. Yes, 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 yes. That's powerful. Wow. So you grew up at where? Here in Tema, uh, specifically uh, Community One. And then we we moved to Twenty Five. But I was we came to Twenty Five here at the age of. Uh, uh, less than 15 so i've been here for over 20 years over 20 years yes in 25 years wow yes. that's powerful how is life like growing up in tema well 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 we've come from far me growing and seeing th changes you know i mean we thank god there's progress yes what are some of the things you guys used to do those days oh we we played around we hunt and uh, you hunt for oh i like rabbits Oh, you like rabbits, so you go after them. Yes, uh, but you know, they are too, at that time, we can't, you are too young to chase them. So we have other brothers where they come in with their support and we go to catch one or two. That's wow. it. <laughs> That's powerful. When you were growing up, how was the feeling like? What did you want to become? What, what were your passion like? Oh my God, what a beautiful question. You know, when you are growing up, you have a lot, millions of successful careers mm. that you want to become. But life is that way that you can never tell yes yes everybody should know that wow. yes that you may grow all the young people should know this that you may find you will see a lot of beautiful jobs you want to go into but life is not like that okay so you could have a a, a passion of saying i want to become a medical doctor i want to become a pilot and all that. absolutely but hey, if you're not careful you find yourself in a different road and it's, it's real what do you mean by that yes because you know from my own aspect, let me use my. I want to be. I wanted to become either a journalist or an accountant. Oh, you wanted to become a journalist or an accountant when I was growing, but today it's none of that. Yes. So I learned a lot from that, and I believe that um, you shouldn't set your mind. And if you do your research, uh, you find a lot of people who also find themselves in the same line. Yeah, the yes. Right. Yes. I'm. 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 I'm quite sure of that. Yes. So. Um, you know, just like I'm saying, you should work hard. There are others who have made it to where they wanted to be and they were there. But others find it difficult. And there are factors contributing to that. And that factors is numerous around our communities. That's what are some of the few factors that could prevent someone from achieving his or her dream? I would go straight to the word poverty. Poverty is one factor. Yes. So if you are there, work hard, make money so that you can bring your ideas into reality. It takes money. Yes. So if your family is not having the support, the money to help you, 
no matter the dream you're having or if someone didn't come in for you no matter the plans you're having it might not work when you don't have money or your father your mother you don't have any support trust me you have a a, a long wall to jump mm. yes a long wall to jump but when you have the money it is easier for somebody to invest in your idea and then you can get to where you want to go yes this is real yes what did you study in school? What are you doing currently? School hmm, is a long talk. Yes. Because my father, my brothers, my siblings do not have money. So uh, at a point, my dad said he cannot do anything. He cannot pay. So I should hustle. Wow. Yes. So okay. for now, go hustle. I go hustle, you know, looking for money to support. I didn't go far. I didn't, I'm not a university graduate. I haven't been to the university. Yeah. Yes, but um, we, you know, education was one thing I always have at, at heart, mm. you know, because that is the only way you can, you know, you can handle problems of life mm. without education. Trust me. Someone say money stops nonsense. Yes. Mm. Yes. So education is key. So growing up, me seeing a little bit of education and me, my father telling me to hustle, I realized that no, I need to work and gather some money yeah. so i started doing one or two hustling looking for something to push myself in an area you know so uh, um when it comes to education i haven't been to you know deeper deeper i mean no 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 but yeah. on the top yeah we've been able to do something small wow. that's powerful <laughs> what's your line of work now what work are you doing now i am currently working as a driver oh, okay you're a professional driver a driver i love you know when i was a kid um my mom will tell you that when he sends me i have my robust tear I never joke with that. Wow. Yes, so you see, sometimes passion is very important. Uh, you need to know what you, what you love and what you can do. It is very, very important. Uh, when I was growing, I loved God. And then, um, you know, time will not, but I have a lot to say. I used to have a, a drum, a design. It doesn't have ties, nothing. But I fixed up a here, put up a, 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 an original uh, gear, gear, you know, the gear, the long yeah, one, yeah. The, oh, those days. <laughs> put it there and planted it. Did this find a steel wheel, fix it. It's a drum, fix it, and then you drum see like the one you fetch water in it. No, it was just those drums, um, metal drum, a box metal drum. Uh, you know, that I don't know, it was actually in the community at that time. Yeah. So I fixed those things around just to showcase I'm driving. Yeah. So you said yes. the passion started from when you were little. So you know, yes, when, when we grew up, you know, I didn't start in the beginning, driving was not my that's what I was saying, coming back. You had a different plan, and then yes. things started to switch. Exactly. But today, I am not an accountant, neither am I a, what? a, journalist. a journalist. I found myself holding the steer yeah. and a, a professional driver. Professional driver. Does that give you satisfaction? Too? Yes, I am, because, uh, you know, um, you, once you, you, you are working, that work must give you some kind of satisfaction. Otherwise, you are not living well. What makes a professional driver? Wow, that's a good question. A professional driver, you have to have knowledge about the driving. You have to understand rule, road rules and regulation. And on top of it all, patience. Patience. You need patience, right? Patience. Mm. Yes. Patience is everything. When it comes to driving, that is the word. Patience is everything. Because you have to remember that it involves your life. Okay. So, life yes. So this is where you should drive derive your, 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 your patience from. Otherwise, you will get your leg or hand being amputated. Oh, yeah. And then that will, that will be a problem. So on top of it, and start knowing all the rules, regulations, knowledge, all the wisdom, patience. Because when you say you are a professional driver, and therefore you speed too much speed, without knowing that whatever speed you go, whether small or low, you will get to your destination. Yeah. And that you should know there's a junction that are cross things, a lot of things. So you go most because I'm a professional driver. You are on the verge of killing yourself or, and others. And endangering the life of others. So that is, that is my advice. Patience. When you are holding the steer, there are certain areas we know we know, you need to speed up. It's normal. But don't do it too much because I'm a professional driver. Okay? You know? So that is it. That is it. How far have you gone in your driving work? Uh, you drive to other countries or you drive within Accra? Oh my goodness. Um, <laughs> I drive only within Accra. I started driving long ago, even becoming a driver of, of my... Because you see, in life, one thing you should know, 
the youth should know is that train yourself in so many areas it's not only about certificate it's not train yourself that has actually helped me because when i was growing up life hit me a lot so i learned this i learned this i learned this so when i'm not able to fall in this i go into this so when i realized that life was not going well at all driving became one of, one of them one of the options and i'm getting something to eat that's very powerful what's your advice to the youth that are into games my bet uh, all kind of games chasing of women uh wanting enough money today without hard work wow these questions we need three hours let's go four hours to discuss more about this i think that um uh, too much in hurriness to make money okay. you know too much in hurriness to make money is bringing is clouding a lot of problems yes me growing up seeing how life is all about i see that you need to train yourself, sit back, take your time, follow the patterns of life to get to where you want to go to. Otherwise, if you see a billionaire who is 44 years and you're thinking that that billionaire has a short cut to get there, then you are, I'm sorry for you. That is advice for them, as you know. It could be an investment from the, the billionaire's family and probably some smart work he, he did. Absolutely. Absolutely. You may not know the, the story behind his money. Okay. So don't be in hurriness or, you know, finding all means of uh, ways to, to cut corners and get there. You may end your life. You may find yourself in so many problems. If you go to the police station, the prison yard, this is why it is full. Yes. It is not easy to get to, to see that level. You may not know what the man or the woman has done to get there. So it is important to make sure that you take your time. Learn something. Don't sit raw learn something go up out there look for something to do you will get it it is possible this is possible yes but when you grow up and you are not doing anything you are just walking about you will steal because you'll be hungry okay when you are hungry you look for something to eat and when you keep on asking it's not coming you you see somebody thing, you go and steal it which will bring a lot of disgrace and shame around your life and that is a killer when it happens like it's a killer, it's not good. So they should invest in their lives by uh, going to get a skill. They should go learn something that... Uh, yes, you, made, you made a comment about uh, bets and all that things. I have a lot to say about, about time, I know. You see, those who are into bets, most of them have the lucky to, to, to make money. Okay. And they are making it. But I don't know, <laughs> I don't know, maybe I have to ask one of them, why? Why you, you, they, you earn a lot of money, but in the next day they are poor? Yes, I noticed that myself too. They they make enough money this week and next week they go begging for money. Yes, it's it's it's. I I I don't understand this. I need somebody to explain. But to me, if you are doing that and you are getting money, remember money has uh, what's the name wings. Okay, if you don't know this, that's why the rich man doesn't joke with his penny because it has wings. When it flew out of your hand, when the bed flew out of your hand, what happens? It can't becomes a struggle to get it. Yes, you can't get the bed back again. That is money for you. I'm telling you honestly. So when you understand that, you know you value money and you put money in the right ways for it to remain for you. Okay? That's powerful. So if money comes into your hands, you should know how to handle the money. Because money doesn't always come. It comes just like you, you by chance catch a bed. And then if you lose the bird, it's another thing altogether. You're still watching uh, 24 Hours TV. Uh, I'm having a great time and I'm getting a lot of information. I'm getting to understand a lot of things. I hope you yourself watching, uh, you're picking up some things there. Money doesn't always come. I see. Let me go to my next question. I hear a lot of young people say they have invested in one or two ladies uh, with a mind that they will marry. Uh, them one day or they, they will agree to marry or to be together one day and then now the woman or the lady decides to to leave what do you have to say about this type of situation wow this is a very worrying one because um, when you look at you look at stories these are some of the stories that circulate around sometimes you see a lot of that you know it is very painful uh, in the first place that you trust a lady if it, if it were to be you, yeah. what would you do? What would be your reaction? Wow. 
Um, <laughs> I would have leave here. Oh, you allow her to go. If per my measurements, my strength, I have nothing to do about it. You should go. Is it a loss for you? Is it that you will, will you consider it as uh, be losing something or? Yes, because you've lost something because you've you've gathered a lot of energy to yeah, take to, invested. yes, to take it to that level. Because for me, killing, weeping, whatever is not an, a, a, a good option to do. To me, I will I will still recover, and I'll move on. Oh, you will recover and then you will move on. Exactly. Do you have to curse her? No. You don't believe in cursing the woman if she's breaking your heart, uh, she's leaving you. You don't believe in cursing her, you don't believe in killing her, you just let her go. You see, there are, there are, there are, there are I mean, they, they have this saying that we are living in a secular environment. This is my law, my brother. Whatever you do today that is good will always come back to you. Oh, it will come back. I'm telling you honestly. So, if you are a lady and a guy trusts you and invested money in you and you decide, you know, to, 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 to turn your back from the guy, bye-bye. 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 <laughs> because, you know, the world is a circular world. And you can never tell the next second. You know, even the next minute. The next second, you can't tell what will happen. So, to me, it's enough for me to say bye-bye to you. And let's see the circles. In the future <laughs> it's a small world it's a small world let's see the circles in the future it is enough i have seen a lot of people they send the you know court issue a lot of things happen it's a lot of waste of time to you you advise them to uh, you know you, you you wait let her go remember there are circles of life the story will turn i'm telling you yes the story will turn that's powerful young ladies deciding to date three four guys and keep it secret they decide, young ladies, yeah. deciding to date three, four guys and keep it as a secret. If you get to know, what would be the best thing you want to know from the girl? Why? That's a question, sorry. Oh, the, fir the first question is going to be, why? Okay. If I meet you, I tell you my capabilities, my abilities, what I can do and what I cannot, I cannot do, you accept me. So your why? plans for the future. I'm telling you, so the first question is why? Okay. If that answer comes, the decision taken taking uh diseases will be taken eh? if your answer is negative i will suck you i'll i'll I eat i would because you know i don't want to eat from a plate that has to be served to me only shared by people no no that one is out of my dictionary so your first question is going to be why what if she tells you that she needed money for the house so she wanted to do that to gather money for the house wow you see I love to be to be real to people because I need peace of mind. Honestly, brother, peace of mind is everything. Eh? When you are doing something, look for peace of mind. You will do it well. But when you don't have peace of mind, you cannot do it. Trust me. So, when I meet you, me, it's not. Some people say it's not good to discover uh, to let her know everything that you are earning. Yeah. But to me. Yes, it, I take that advice, and it's good to do it because we are all humans. Eh? But being real to your lady is very important. Being real to your lady is very important. It's been very important. That will bring peace of mind, so that next time, if there is a problem, you can take decisions easily. But when you are not really to your lady, you can't take decisions. You would manage it like that, okay? You manage it like that, or isn't it? Yes, because you yourself, you know you have a lot of money behind. You are saying, I don't have money. So you, I need, oh, my phone is spot. I need new phone. Other guys are forcing to do it for their ladies who are not even doing what, I mean, they are not doing, I mean, they are not doing more than. So if you have money and you tell her you don't have, she will now start thinking, okay, my guy is not having, so she will start cutting canes. It, it is, it is re it's reality of life because today, money talks, I mean, t money tops everything. Okay, so if... We are not of those ladies of yesterday. We are not of those generations of yesterday whose understanding is different of today. Our yesterday's sisters, their understanding of life is different from today's ladies. Okay, so you have to know as a guy, be real. If you are real and she's, she, she, she turns her back, it's up to her. 
okay but if you have the money to do what you have to do for her and you are pretending then you deserve that you are a professional driver i am <laughs> wow yes yes you yes. drive uh, cross country you drive to other places or you drive within a crowd i can drive cross countries but i haven't uh, yet done that uh, you know all my driving has been uh, within the country okay. yes what type of standard of cars do you drive i drive private cars my license is um, b Mine says B, and so, wow, so yes. you can drive any of the government. Uh, Absolutely, any government official who wants to take me, I'm ready. Wow, 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 <laughs> that's fun. Yes, yes. So our brother here has license B. Uh, that is, he said, is going to be upgraded. Yes, uh, yes. I see. Um, you are open to people when they need you to drive them. Yes. Um, I have. I'm currently, you know, working with a company five days a week. I have the you know, weekends quite available, you know. and so I'm open to that as well. Side drives, and you know, I'm, I can, I'm ready to do that. If you want me to take you to anywhere, call me. I can do that. Well. What's the number people can call me? Zero five four one one zero one eight one two zero five four one one zero one eight one two. Yes, that's perfect. So I'm here with my brother. Shibu Salia. Shibu Salia. It's a great time. I'm super excited to uh, have this conversation with you. I believe we're going to have a part two of this conversation again. Yes, sure. I'm ever ready. Uh, there's a lot that I have to talk about. Uh, you know, Thank you. Yes, because um, me growing up, I've seen a lot of things and I would love to share. Yes, yes. Wow. Thank you very much for making time. You're welcome. So we'll meet again at the same time. You're still watching 24 Hours TV. I'm your man, I'm a human. You can call me on the phone. So we'll meet again. Bye bye.